Hey everyone, this is for the sign of Cancer for September of 2021. If you guys are new to my channel, I want to say welcome. And if you're coming back, I want to say thank you. I know I have been gone for a little while. I took some time off during the summer after launching my book, It's Not You, It's Your Energy. Uh, just to enjoy life, spend time with the kids, travel after you know the years that we have had. And now we are back. The kids are back in school. So thank you so much for being patient. And I loved all the messages that you sent me worrying about where I was. But we are back. So I'm excited. And if you can give me a thumbs up, let me know that you're excited that I'm back. That would really motivate me. And I appreciate that. All right. Uh, if you don't know, I read these cards intuitively. And I also read the energy of the cards I am an expert in healing after toxic relationships, so you will get a lot of relationship information as well as career and life and all that good stuff. And I do have a three-day challenge starting on Monday, September, 6th, uh, September 13th to heal your childhood trauma. So if you feel as though you've been attracting toxic relationships, if you have abandonment issues, daddy or mommy issues, all of that stuff we're going to be talking about in the challenge starting on Monday. You can find the link in the description box and also in the comments below. All right, let's see what's going on. Loving, especially for you guys, loving this energy. So the King of Cups is just this energy of living life with love. Letting go of all of the should-haves, could-haves, would-haves letting go of all the negativity, uh, letting go of expectations and listening to people. I'm hearing listening to people more. Instead of speaking, listen and listen to what they're truly saying, not the words that they're saying. So definitely keep that in mind. Looks like a positive reading for this month, but definitely, you know, start to listen more and listen to the emotions or the underlying things that are coming out in their words, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So a lot of people will speak, but there's something deeper that is going on than the words that they're using. So just listen. I'm, I'm just feeling like people are just going to want to be listened to. So just listen instead of speaking so much is what I'm getting. All right. So in the beginning of the month, you've got the two of cups. You've got the unknown card. You've got the Justice card, and you've got the Nine of Wands. So this is a union here. Uh, you could read this any kind of way. And please remember, these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. You could also check out your Moon and Rising signs. But for me, this can resonate in two people coming together. This could also resonate in you finding yourself. Um, sometimes this is like a higher self card for me as well. It's like connecting more to your higher self, to this energy your intuition more but you've got this unknown card with the justice and nine of wands I feel like there's a block around this right now so there might be something that you're resisting around this union because maybe there is an unknown uh, aspect of it and maybe you feel as though you deserve better and kind of like standing your ground here but I feel as though with this unknown card like you can drop your guard a little bit again the love here. So somebody, somebody might be saying something to you, but the words aren't matching what you're feeling inside. And we want you to trust that, that intuition, because you even got the star card here. So really trusting your intuition is important this month to be able to kind of decipher what's real and what's not. If that makes sense, you don't have any shady cards here. So I don't feel as though there's anything shady happening. But I just feel like you deserve more. Um, and there's a power within you that you might not see. And maybe you're scared to kind of access that power. Um, maybe you're scared to make those decisions. So in the middle of the month here, we've got the chariot. We've got the seven of pentacles. We've got the star card and we've got the sun. I feel like this month is a journey for you. I just feel like it's a healing process. Um, maybe there's steps that you're taking or maybe there's programs that you're in or maybe you're going back to school, something like that. But I just feel a progression is what they're making me feel. Like you're just progressing through. You're stepping up. You keep stepping up. Um, and like I'm being drawn to my, to my dragon here who's like got his hands like this. And I, like, there's gratitude there. And 
somebody's thanking you for that. So I, you know, that might be a personal message to somebody there, but something's coming through here that they're thanking you for the progression that you're making, the steps that you're taking um, in order to kind of move forward. Because with the chariot card, that's moving forward, but with effort. And with the seven of pentacles, that's about kind of like time to collect. And with the star and the sun, I just feel as though you are moving into a higher vibration. This could also be kind of like a spiritual awakening as well. You might get into energy here. But, you know, the sun card is my healing card and the star card is really kind of intuition for me. So it's about connecting to yourself at a higher level. And I think, you know, I know women in my program, when we do that for ourselves, we affect people around us. And that might be what I'm feeling here is that by healing yourself, by taking that progression, by doing those steps, you are actually affecting people around you. But for some of you, there's someone, uh, there's someone on the other side that is thanking you. So you might be doing some ancestral healing, which, which is what I do in my program, where you're actually healing uh, family members that are no longer here. So just know that. So that, that might be confirmation for, for one of, or a couple of you, maybe, that there's somebody on the other side thanking you for what you're doing. You, um, I'm also getting that some of you might be taking care of a child for somebody that has passed, and they, and they want to say thank you. And I got chills with that. So that is a confirmation for somebody coming through for someone that needs to hear that. So please let me know if that was you in the comments. Um, we've got the three of wands here. We have the page of pentacles. We have the higher font and we have the wheel of fortune. So this is really about looking forward. Like there's, there's going to be, I feel as though this is about looking forward and taking the downtime that you need will cause a long-term commitment of a long-term effect of um, like with the wheel of fortune, it's about turning the wheel and making things go. So don't feel as though you have to do all these things in order to get what you want. Like we go back to the law of attraction and manifestation where you could actually do less and get more. So just don't forget that this month because it's time to look forward, but you don't have to do so much. You just have to be committed to what you believe, what you want, and then things will start rolling is what I'm getting there. I feel like this reading is all over the place, so I apologize, but I feel like there's multiple messages coming through, but overall, the energy I feel is that you are progressing, you are healing, you are evolving, and when you do that, there's going to be more people that are affected by that, so keep going, don't quit. And as I say that, the Seven of Wands taking a stand comes out, so make sure that you're fighting for what you believe in, make sure that you're moving towards where you want to go. And we've got the two of cups again. So there's definitely some kind of partnership, union, finding yourself, connecting to that higher self here. It says loving union teamwork. And then we've got the ten of swords. So we're going to have to clarify that though. Let me clarify that with this deck. So we got the ten of swords. So something is over. So maybe there's something brand new starting when you, when you finally let something go here. There's healing and second chance. So a lot of you will be joining me, hopefully, in my childhood trauma, uh, heal the childhood trauma challenge because you've got the sun and you've got the healing card here too. And you've got the fool, which is taking that leap of faith. Two of wands, you can go either way. You can just keep living your life the same way, getting the same results. Oh my gosh, yeah. The same results um, or you can do something different. And with the eight of cups, this cup is this card is always to me about walking towards something better. It's about leaving the the leaving what you no longer serves you behind and walking towards something better. So I absolutely love that. All right, let's see what is happening here. What question of the month do we need? Hmm, love this card. What can I burn? <laughs> Burn it, burn it all. The ugly lies, the pain, the shame, the criticism. The images that run through your head, the reminders of what you did wrong, and the proof that you are not enough. Burn, baby, burn. Your soul is calling. It's time for a rebirth. You are like the phoenix rising from the ashes, no longer attached to the past. You are free. Your wings are ready. Use them. 
Today's soul action. Make the choice that you will no longer let the past define you. Pick up your pen. What will your next chapter look like? So all those things, that's our human mind. That's our ego. Our ego to me is edging greatness out. It's it's literally tuning out your intuition. Where's the intuition card? This intuition here. It's tuning it out because when we have so much in our mind, that chatter that we have, we can't listen, we can't feel, we can't see our intuition. So therefore, all we have is our human voice going back and forth, back and forth. But when you're ready to burn all of that, when you're ready to truly heal, you let go of that chatter and then you can connect to that intuition. So your soul is calling and it's time for a rebirth. So this is confirmation and more healing for you. And pick up your pen and what will your next chapter look like? You do not have to settle for where you are right now. You can be anything that you want to be. And I know when somebody says that, it sounds so like, yeah, okay, right. Like I'm poor over here. How can I be a millionaire? But if you keep going at it and you keep raising your vibration and healing, you can start to manifest that kind of stuff. And it happens so quickly. So whatever doubt that you have in your mind that you're stuck where you are, you can always get unstuck. You can always get unstuck, okay? So your wings are ready, use them. Write down what you want your next chapter to look like. That is what we have for you this month. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button with a little bell notification to get notified when I have new readings coming out because I'm all in again. <laughs> um, and then also, if you want to join the three days to heal your childhood trauma, uh, you can find the link in the description box and also in the comments below. And please give me a thumbs up on the video. Leave some comments. Let this go out to more people. It helps helps the algorithm on YouTube. So if you could do that, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Much love to all of you. I hope you have a wonderful month and I'm excited to see what's up for you next month when you're connecting to that intuition. Much love. I'll talk to you soon.